In this brief video, I'm going to create a confidence interval using StackCrunch. I'm looking at the data information from our last example. If you need to go back and look, please do. Remember, we were told that um, a hospital was looking to determine whether or not 87% of all of their employees got their flu shots, so they took a sample of 300 individuals. They found that 249 received their flu shots. We wanted to create a 95% confidence interval and determine whether or not 87 or 0.87 is contained in that interval. So when we want to create a confidence interval, what we're going to do is to go up to stat. We are going to go to Z stat. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to proportion stats, not Z stats. Proportion stats, one sample, and it's with summary. In other words, we have all the values we're not looking at data we're not looking at columns of data we're looking at summary statistics the number of successes in this case was 249 that was the number of people who said they had their flu shot the number of observations was 300 we are creating a confidence interval we are not performing a hypothesis test although we're get there we are looking at a confidence level of 0.95 don't need to worry about the method here and then hit compute and you're going to get an information, some information here. The proportion, you're given the count, the total, the sample proportion. This is the point estimate. You're given the standard error and the lower limit and the upper limit. And if you relate these back to what we calculated, they are, obviously there's some rounding differences here, but they are almost identical. If I gave you this problem on a, a quiz or something and you wanted to calculate, or excuse me, save this, you're not going to be able to, I mean, if you click download, it's not going to download it as an image. The best thing for you to do would be to select it and then Control-C, Control-V to copy and paste it into a document. 